Okay, this is a video response to Tom Barrett's uh, sequence of videos that he filmed here at the Durham Labs. Um, just got two multi-touch tables here where you want to uh, just highlight some of the networking facilities we've been working on. So Ling Zhao's got a, a menu up here and using this we can drive uh, some of the networking and collaboration features of, uh, of our software. So the first thing is we've, we've got a menu on the students table, we really don't want the student to be able to use this so we're going to get rid of that remotely. There we go and I can't call this menu back up. Next thing is we'll load an application, we're going to use mysteries which we use extensively. There we go and uh, we can see that uh, both tables have now got mysteries and I can start to, to use this as a, as a regular application. Um, those changes haven't been synchronized across to the other table. So say the teacher wanted to lay out the, the table in a particular way and then have that replicate onto uh, any of the tables in the room. So Ling Zhao's now got a configuration he wants to send to this table. Just a quick menu item and we'll synchronize that data. There we go. If I was then to make changes here, um, I can still do that. Uh, and those changes aren't updated on the remote table. But we can do something that will allow changes on both tables to synchronize with each other. So Ling Zhao is just going to allow that to happen. So now changes on one table affects changes on the other table. So if I come in and start um, manipulating content here, um, I think Zhao can override that. It's just going to add a new note. So we're watching things that are happening on Ling Zhao's table as he starts to type. Great. And finally, just going to lock uh, this table so that the student can't do anything. So now I can't change anything. I can only watch what's being done. And finally we can uh, clear the table uh, if we wanted to too. And a final feature which I forgot to include in the last video uh, is to allow complete synchronization between two tables. So this is the collaborate mode. If I start changing things over here you can see those things are changing on the remote table as well.